Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Bobby. Welcome back to Take 5 with Acker Fire Tactics. Today we're going to talk about controlling a storm door or screen door of a private dwelling. Fire ground movement is so important for not only firefighters or equipment, and we need to create a path to travel. The first firefighter through this door owes every firefighter on the scene to control this door and take it out of play. If you don't take it out of play, you're going to be wrestling with it the entire fire. It's important to know door construction, where the hinges are, and is it self-closing or not self-closing. Self-closing meaning when you open the door, let go of it, it closes on its own. Now a couple things about this door in particular. The hinge runs from top to bottom. So there's going to be a certain way of going to control it, but not all doors are put in the same way. So it, again, understand the construction of the door. If the door did not run from, or the hinge did not run from top to bottom, very simple and a couple simple things you can carry on you for this type of situation. Wedges, I carry a metal wedge, first through fabrication, and a wooden wedge. I use them almost every fire I go to. I also carry utility rope and a piece of webbing. So in this situation, first thing I'm gonna do with this door, say it doesn't have the hinge running from top to bottom. I'm gonna open the door, self-closing pistons. I'm gonna take them out with my probar or blunt object and get rid of them. Next thing I'm gonna do, is take one of my wedges, I'm going to get it up in the corner, then I'm going to take a blunt object and I'm going to hit it as hard as I can up in that corner. Again, I'm going to drive it home, make sure it's there, bring the weight of the door back on it, make sure it's closed, all right? Give it a couple more shots, then I'm off. If you have two wedges, you can put one top, one bottom. Now again, this door has the hinge that runs from top to bottom, so my wedges are useless. So what am I going to do? Very simple. I'm going to open the door, I'm going to take my tool, put it down, because I'm going to need both of my hands. I'm going to put my foot on the tool so nobody takes it. I'm going to use my utility rope, take it out. I'm going to tie a bowline very quickly. Put it on the handle. I have a railing right in front of me. I'm going to tie a clove hitch. The door is not out of play. And now is there a pathway to travel? I don't have to worry about the door closing on a hose line. I don't have to worry about the door closing on anything. First person through the door owes it to everybody to take care of this. It's the simplest tasks that set us up for the most success on the fire ground. Think outside the box, slow down, ignore tunnel vision, and you will be extremely effective. See you on the fire floor.